What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jay here at Hyperbole where we specialize in cards and collectibles. In this episode we're going to be talking about investment strategies specifically in modern Pokemon. There's some great options out there. We're going to talk about one of those today. So if you're interested in learning more about investing in modern Pokemon, stay tuned to the episode. If this is your first time watching the channel, please stay tuned. We do a lot of different types of things here on the channel. We schedule live unboxings with viewers on Instagram, Facebook, and now on YouTube. So if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications. If you have ideas or suggestions about additional content that we could make in the future here on the channel, please drop them down in the comments below. As always, look forward to working with you guys, hearing what you have to say. Appreciate you watching the video and watching my other videos. It really helps support the channel. Got a lot of things planned for the future and we're super excited about it. With that being said, we're talking about modern day Pokemon investment strategies. Now the market, as many of you guys know, has been crazy over the last four months or so. Really within the last couple months, the, mo the modern Pokemon and the vintage Pokemon market has absolutely just gone crazy. It's really hard even to get your, your hands on product, um, but when you do, you it's important to know what to look for. And in comparison to buying some more expensive product, in today's episode, what we're gonna talk about is a modern product that I think has great upside in the long term. Now, a quick disclosure, I'm not a financial advisor. Invest at your own will. This is just speculation based on looking at historical data, historical trends, and trying to foresee what value could be in the future. So with that all being said, what I'd like to show you is a great investment that if you come across it in the store and or online, I would recommend picking up. And we're gonna talk about those reasons why, but before we get into those, we're just gonna talk about the product. So it's a theme deck. Try and get a close up here for you guys. Charizard theme deck. And uh, you're probably wondering to yourself, what's so special about the theme deck? Well, it's Charizard. Charizard's always one of the, the great characters in Pokemon that holds a lot of value. It's one of the chase cards that people want to invest into and people just like to have, whether, you're, whether you play with it. I don't think it has much playability in the standard format um, that's going on right now in Pokemon, but more for people that just like Charizard as a character. The really cool thing that I like about this is, well, the artwork on the theme deck itself uh, explains what comes in the back. We'll talk a little bit about that. But there's a very unique uh, card in here, as you can see on the front, Charizard. It's a cracked ice, or some people call these hollow, but it's a cracked ice version. It's kind of hard to see from here, but as the light hits it, you can see how it changes. Um, you can only get this card in this theme deck. So I think the exclusivity of the Charizard in this type of a product is going to make it more desirable long long term. One of the other cool things about this Charizard list or uh, Charizard theme deck is it comes with two additional Charizards. Not sure if you can make it out, but uh, the deck list comes with two additional Charizards. Comes with Charmeleons, Charmanders, uh, basically a bunch of, of Pokemon and to get you started to play, you know, a fire deck, which is what Char Charizard's in. So it comes with 60 cards, a metallic coin, a single player play mat, the deck box, a damage counter, a rules booklet, uh, three reference card, and then a code card to play online if you'd like to play online. But what I recommend doing is picking these up. They're, they're $12.99 retail plus your tax, uh, depending on where you're at. If you can find them in the store, I definitely recommend picking them up. Um, if you can't find them in the store, I think it's still a good option to, to try and buy them online. Uh, they should you should be able to get it for around 20 bucks or under 20 bucks uh, at this time you can also if you don't want to buy the theme deck itself if you just don't want to buy this because it takes up too much space and you're just interested in potentially investing in the card you can also buy singles there's a lot of different places you can buy uh, singles tcg player is a great place to buy singles uh, on your other community forums you know your facebook your instagram um, your local, you know, offer up. Sometimes you can find stuff on there as well. Uh, eBay is another source, uh, secondary market where you can buy product. So I definitely think that the long-term, you know, sets that have Charizard in them, whether it's a promo Charizard or um, there's multiple variations of a Charizard, they always do well in the long-term. So instead of buying, and like I said, the, the point of this video is, 
how can I invest maybe in, in modern Pokemon, but I have a limited budget. I, I can't afford to, to buy the $200 uh, Vivid Voltage booster box and keep it sealed, um, which I do recommend that that's a great investment. But this is for people that may have 20 bucks or so, and they want to get something that, that you know has r real cool artwork and has the potential to have a, have a bigger return on investment longer term. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, there, there's another deck that comes with this. You know, we're here in the, the Pokemon cave downstairs. Uh, I'll show you guys. It actually comes as a setup display. So it's pretty cool. Uh, this is what it would look like. You have four Charizards. You can see Charizards on the left and you would have four Dreadnought. We'll talk about Dreadnought maybe in another video. But um, if you see these guys, if you see this on a display in the store, you know, Charizard is worth picking up. I also recommend the Dreadnought, same kind of reason. Um, I don't think it will have the same amount of value as the Charizard will longer term, but it's got the cracked ice or the hollow form that is gonna be desirable for pe people to pick up. So that's gonna do it for the video. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. Wanna keep it short and sweet. Um, just so that you guys get the information that you're looking for. If you guys like this, you want to hear more about different types of investments, both bigger value and, and lower value, um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to hear down in the comments below. Like I said, appreciate everybody watching the video. If you want to check out how the live breaks run, go check out some of my past videos. Um, hit the sub button, turn on the notifications, share the video. It really helps support the channel. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you watching. So until next time, and catch you on the flip side.